Training camp is a time for players and coaches to shake some of that rust off before the regular season starts. But throughout NFL history, we've certainly seen our fair share of players who had a bit more rust than others. Jerry Rome had landed a job with the expansion Seahawks and desperately needed a receiver. Alvis, I'm gonna shoot you if you don't learn the raps. Mistakes are expected during NFL training camp. Better to get the bad reps out of the way before the real season commences, right? Training camp is the time to learn from your miscues and refine your skills before the games actually matter after all. But some of these training camp bloopers have been so embarrassing that they're simply too hard to ignore. Even if they're nothing more than a meaningless mishap. So without further ado, here are the 10 most embarrassing fails in NFL training camp history. Daniel Jones finds the wide open defender. To say that Daniel Jones' first two NFL seasons were nothing short of underwhelming would be quite the understatement. The New York Giants reached for Jones when they took him six overall in 2019. Through his first two seasons, 27 total game appearances, Jones had 35 touchdowns against a whopping 22 interceptions. Even more embarrassing is the fact that Jones had, wait for it, 29 fumbles over that span. Big yikes. Needless to say, 2021 marked a make-or-break year for Jones. The Giants loaded up on more skill position guys to help him after all. But, uh, let's just say that Jones didn't make the best impression during training camp. Here, Jones finds a wide-open teammate over the middle for an easy pass completion. The only problem? Well, that teammate was a defender. You can chalk this up as another case of get it out of the way before the games start to count, I guess. But still, it's hard to think of a more humiliating training camp blunder than that. Dan man, the guy was wearing a completely different jersey color. Ben Roethlisberger doesn't have time for training camp. Not that we're condoning lazy practice habits, but when you're the undisputed starter at quarterback, the game's most important position after all, it's probably difficult to stay ultra hungry and entirely motivated in training camp. At least, that appeared to be the case for Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger during 2015 training camp. Obviously, the two-time Super Bowl champion wasn't about to lose his starting job to career backup Bruce Gradkowski. A hilarious video of the two quarterbacks during a 2015 training camp session made rounds on the internet a few years ago. Gradkowski was giving it his all, trying to dodge through pads that were being thrown his way while in the pocket. But when it was Big Ben's turn, he just hit the pads away and put in very little effort, which sparked plenty of laughs among those watching. Not that we know more about football than Roethlisberger or anything, but the man has been sacked more than 500 times in his career. If he took that drill maybe a little bit more seriously, perhaps that number would be smaller. But yeah, you future football players get the point. Always try a little harder than this in practice. You're never gonna brush defenders away the way Ben did to those pads after all. Khalil Mack dominates Bears coach. Few NFL players of the 21st century have been more unblockable than Chicago Bears star Khalil Mack. The 2016 Defensive Player of the Year racked up 70.5 sacks and 23 forced fumbles through his first seven seasons. He's been largely overshadowed by J.J. Watt and Aaron Donald, but you've seen the type of impact he made with the Bears and Raiders. This guy can single-handedly take over a game at any moment. That said, Mack would probably be better off sticking to dominating opposing offensive lines men and quarterbacks rather than trying to take down his own coach. I mean, how many coaches in football would stand any bit of hope against this guy? Not sure, but props to this Bears coach for taking it well in a humorous manner. I'm still trying to figure out how he got up so quickly after Mac fell on top of him. Maybe the Bears should try that guy out at fullback. Good old Jameis Winston. It's been an interesting NFL career for Jameis Winston, to say the least. The 2015 first overall pick led the NFL in passing yards during the 2019 campaign, his last with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But they let him walk in favor of Tom Brady because he also recorded the first ever 30 TD, 30 interception season in NFL history. Obviously, that call worked out nicely for the Bucs, who went on to win Super Bowl 55 with TB12. With the Buccaneers moving in another direction, Winston took a one-year pact with the the NFC South rival New Orleans Saints to learn behind Drew Brees for a year. The latter retired in the 2021 offseason, and the Saints opted to bring back Winston to compete with Taysom Hill for the starting job. So for Winston, the goal in NOLA is easy. Cut down on the turnovers and you might just be the new franchise star. Can't be that hard, 
right? Well, there's more to it than just reducing the turnovers. As you can see in this clip, Winston also has some work to do when it comes to running the ball. Based on this footage of him running through some pads during a 2021 training camp session. Worth noting that Winston hasn't topped 281 rushing yards in a season, for whatever it's worth. Clearly, his strength is in his arm and not his legs. Maybe Sean Payton and company should just save the QB draws for Taysom Hill. Jutavian Clowney struggles in the bag drills. A month after free agency opened, 2014 first overall pick Jadavian Clowney signed a one-year deal with the Cleveland Browns worth $8 million. For Clowney, it was another chance to reset his market following a dismal 2020 season with the Tennessee Titans. Obviously, a lot of pressure on Clowney. This marked his fourth NFL team in as many years. His 2019 season with the Seattle Seahawks was a flop, and he didn't record a single sack for Tennessee in 2020. Woof. But the Browns were more than happy to give Clowney a chance, pairing him with superstar pass rusher Miles Garrett. Playing alongside a fellow first overall pick, it's hard to think of a much better fit for Clowney. That said, the veteran pro bowler should be thankful that he doesn't have to do bag drills during a real game. You'll see why right here. At least it can't possibly get any worse for Clowney in an actual game, we think. Tyree Kill better off as a receiver. Kansas City Chiefs superstar wide receiver Tyree Kill consistently gives nightmares to opposing defensive backs and coordinators. It's practically impossible to guard the world-class speedster one-on-one, -on -one, and it doesn't help that you have to account for his quarterback Patrick Mahomes, who's only the best player in the NFL these days. Now, Chiefs head coach Andy Reid loves to call some special trick plays here and there. Whether that means having someone other than his QB attempt to pass or having Travis Kelsey line up in the Wildcat, Reed always seems to have a little trick up his sleeve. But as Mr. Hill showed during a 2021 training camp drill, it may be best if he sticks to catching the footballs rather than throwing them. Based on this video below, it's hard to imagine Hill completing any pass over 5 yards downfield. I guess Hill figured he could use some practice, just in case Reed uses him for another halfback pass. I'm sure this speedy wideout doesn't want his next pass attempt to end up like his last one. Chandler Jones destroys the sled. We just talked about how dominant Khalil Mack is. Well, Chandler Jones is also that upper tier class of pass rushers. The Super Bowl 49 champion led the NFL in sacks during the 2017 season with 17, and he put up a ridiculous 19 sacks just two years later. It's hard not to feel bad for anyone who has the responsibility of blocking Jones. That said, we're glad none of the opposing offensive linemen were destroyed by Jones the way this sled was during a 2018 practice. Chandler, what did that machine ever do to you, man? Head coach Steve Wilkes suggested that Jones was simply taking his frustration out on the sled because he was unhappy with how he started out practice. Offensive tackle DJ Humphreys had won his one-on-one -on -one practice matchups with the Pro Bowl pass rusher, but Jones had a much more simple and epic explanation per cardinals.com. That's not why. I'm just too powerful. You could write that down. Way too powerful. I was like, frick, I forgot how powerful I was. Hey, point taken. At six foot five and 265 pounds, that's a powerful human being, all right. Tim Tebow, Mulligan, please. You kids may not know this, but long before Urban Meyer tried out Tim Tebow at Titan, the dude was once a star quarterback for the Denver Broncos. The media's darling and 2007 Heisman Trophy winner had a very unorthodox throwing delivery, which caused his ball to have an odd look to them. But his big frame and dual threat rushing style made Tebow a superstar for the Florida Gators, whom he had won two national championships with. Tebow was drafted 25th overall by the Broncos back in 2010. Then head coach Josh McDaniels just couldn't resist is the chance to take this guy. Remember what we said about Tebow's rather unique throwing motion and delivery? Well, here it was on full display during a training camp session with the Broncos. It's worth noting that Tebow only completed 47.3% of his passes in his two seasons with Denver, which could come as no surprise after watching that clip. It's no wonder the Broncos and Jets called so many running plays with Tebow under center. Sled 1, Sheldon Day 0. This is a case where you have to admire and respect the effort. Defensive tackle Sheldon Day, a fourth round draft pick of the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2016, probably knew that he needed a strong camp in order to make the final roster. Day didn't start any of the Jaguars games in his rookie year after all, and we were talking about a Saxonville defense that was loaded with stud pass rushers. During a defensive line drill at training camp, Day gave it his absolute all against the sled. The only problem? The sled 
without trying, easily won this matchup, and Day almost took down his own coach in the process. For what it's worth, Day would make the final roster. He suited up for six games for the Jaguars that season and recorded two sacks, but he was waived midseason and later picked up by the 49ers. At least the Jaguars gave Day an opportunity. Some teams would have probably cut him immediately after he was dominated by the sled. Sammy Watkins' Interesting Receiving Drill Watkins, renowned for his elite speed and athleticism, went viral on the internet when he practiced this thing we'll comfortably call a never-before-seen drill. Then a sophomore with the Bills, Watkins wanted to work on his over-the-shoulder catches, obviously one of the trickiest maneuvers for a receiver to pull off. A useful drill, to be sure. But, uh, it looked hilarious watching Hopkins sit on the ground smiling while trying to haul in the passes as they landed in front of him. Not that his coaches or teammates had to worry. As this next video shows, Watkins eventually did get the hang of it. And before you knew it, he was making these catches look oh so easy. And hey, for what it's worth, 2015 marks the lone season in which Watkins recorded 1,000 receiving yards. You just keep doing you, Sammy, when it comes to these drills. They're clearly working for you. What other embarrassing NFL training camp fails should we have included on our list? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, click on the like button to upset a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.